Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to Blatty, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. I'm your host for today. You know, as always. <laughs> so, and today we are talking about your camping friend. You guys going camping? You guys. Going to go camping sometime? Yeah, if you do, what do you actually bring with you to charge your phones, to charge your other devices, right? I'm talking about laptops, some speakers, maybe some drones, maybe some cameras. How do we keep them charged? Maybe you bring those uh, generators with you. Well, those are bulky and old school. They are polluting the environment. They are loud. And besides, if you haven't used them for a long time, they would just like clock up with a oil in it so it's really it's really not the bad thing to use what is the best thing to use is of course portable power stations like those of Blue Eddy, right they, they are eco-friendly they are easy to carry around they're very lightweight well you will find you will find some that are lightweight you'll find some that are bigger and not really comfortable to carry around but in any case they were going to be looking for the best power station for any uh, you know situation. Today, particularly, we're talking about camping, but it could also be for you know hanging out with your friends, maybe a picnic, things like that. So we'll talk about EB55. We'll talk about EB70S, PV120, PV Photovoltaic PV PV photovoltaic is a solar panel. Of course, where can we go without solar, right? Solar is the future and the present. We have to all go solar. Yeah, okay, now mm, P120, PV200, PV350, EB70S and PV120, EB70S and PV200. Okay, those are uh, the power station that are easy to carry around. Again, uh, we're going to be talking about them today. Now, we also talk about AC300 and B300. This is a modular solar generator, meaning that it needs batteries to work, right? It does not work on its own. And it can connect from one to four batteries depending on your needs. And of course, you can charge it from solar. Uh, so we'll talk about AC300 and B300, AC300, B300, and three PV200 panels. AC300, B300, and 3PV350 panels. So, when you see discount codes today, please remember they're only valid during the live stream, okay? From 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Once we are offline, discounts are expired, okay? Today, you can save up to $200 just for one single unit. So remember to enter those discount codes you can see in the description. Hello everybody, hello Static, hello Chef for me, hello Dennis, uh, hello Around the Garden, uh, Anz, George, uh, Beth, Ron, and everybody else who I didn't name. Guys, good to see you, okay? Don't forget to smash the like button, helps a ton. Don't forget to share with your friends. You have at least one friend, I think maybe two or three friends who are actually looking to get power stations because they experience power outages, blackouts, or they're moving off grid, or they live in a van, or things like that. So invite people in, okay? Let's enjoy the show together. All right, and the data logic is that we're gonna start from like smaller power stations and we're gonna be moving on the bigger ones, all right? Hope you guys don't mind. If, uh, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We have Blatty official here who will reply your questions, okay? Now, if you're watching us not from the United States, you can also go to our website and check out the offers for your country. We have Canada, Mexico, European Union, the UK, and Japan and other countries, okay? And check us out on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and we have our website, bladdypower.com, okay? So with that being said, let's get started, guys. Let's get started, all right? Okay, okay. So the first the first one I, will, I would like to talk about is EB55. Okay? EB55 is the smallest power station today, all right? So let's take a look at EB55. <clears throat> It looks very similar to EB70S, just a little bit smaller, okay? So here's EB55, okay? It's a 700 watt 
AC pure sine wave inverter power station. Okay, so the battery capacity is 700 watts. Is it enough? Is it not enough, you guys? Uh, oh, sorry, it's not the battery capacity 700 watts, is the AC load is 700 watts. The battery capacity is 537 watt hours, okay? As it says right here, I'm sorry for the confusion. Yeah. 437 watt hours is the battery capacity and the maximum AC load is 700 watts AC. Uh, it's a pure sine wave inverter, so will not hurt your batteries, will give you a nice even charting. The search here is 1400 watts, okay? The battery chemistry inside is lithium iron phosphate. Right now we only stick to lithium iron phosphate batteries because they have a longer lifespan, because they are more safe, more stable. So this one has 2500 plus life cycles. And what happened after it is that the battery degrades to 80% of the original capacity. It does not die, you can still be using that, it's just that it discharges quicker. It's quite an experience that you guys go through with your phones. We go through with our phones, right? After three or two, four years, depends on the phone and how we use it, you know, we just find out that the phone is charged quicker. So, but in this case, it's 2,500 plus life cycles, lifespans of the battery. And then it, it drops to 80% of the original capacity. So you can still be using it, no problems. Just will be discharging quicker. We have 13 outputs here, okay? 13 outputs for multiple devices. Uh, we have a wireless charging pad on the top, rated at 15 watts, okay? We have a 12 volt and 10 amp cigarette lighter. We have two ports, we have a port one port here, 12 volt and 10 amps. We have a USB Type-C port rated at 100 watts. We have four USB-A ports, five volts and three amps, 15, five volts and three amps, 15 watts. And we have four you, uh, four AC ports, okay, 100 to 120 volts and 700 watts with a surge of 1400 watts. Speaking about recharging methods of EBF 55, there are six recharging methods. Number one is AC, we can recharge from a wall outlet. Number two, we can recharge from a solar panel, of course. Number three, we can recharge from a generator, okay. During power outage, there is nothing wrong about recharging from a gas, propane, or diesel generator, as long as uh, it's in the allowed voltage, and you can learn more about it in the user manual. And all the user manuals are available on the website in the PDF version, okay? Now, you can also combine charging methods, like for example, you can charge AC from AC, aka from a wall grid, uh, from a wall outlet, from a grid power, and from solar panels at the same time. And you can even recharge from dual AC, so you have to get another adapter, and now you can recharge from dual AC. Now, what is the maximum solar input? The maximum solar input is 200 watts. What is the maximum fast dual charging? Maybe you can take a guess. It's 400 watts. It's 200 watts from uh, solar max and 200 watts from AC, okay? So the maximum charging input you will get for EV55 is 400 watts from solar and from AC at the same time. But if you have more time, if you are not in a hurry, you can just go and charge from solar, okay, or from AC separately, and you will get 200 watts of input, okay? Right. So, again, guys, you have 537 watt hours of the battery and 700 watts of AC load. So you cannot plug devices that will put more than 700 watts, okay, in total. You will overload it. So, you know, it has its limits. It's limited by its size too. You guys can see it's not as big as this one. So 700 watts, you wanna understand for yourself if it's enough for you or not. If you're looking to recharge like cameras, phones, if you're looking to, um, or small electronics like this or cameras, it's a perfect fit fit for you because it's it's small size, it's a very uh, portable, you know, it's lightweight, and uh, it's just a much better option to take with you outdoors rather than this one, right? Because this one is heavier. Now we also have a light here. Okay, if you take a look here, we have a light. Let me tur first turn it on. Okay, so the light here is nice ambient light, okay, has three modes, um, higher and lower intensity and an SOS mode. It's nice ambient light, really flat, really nice, you yeah, can see it's not like targeting as on other models. Okay, we have fans here, 
All right, and we do have a screen. What does the screen show us? The screen shows us the battery life here, the input, how many watts are coming in when we're charging it. So it's 200 max for AC and 400 max for dual charging and 200 max for uh, solar input. Here's the output, how many watts are being pulled out and the frequency 60 hertz. Eco mode here, it's, it saves the battery, it turns off the AC inverter after four hours of no load or very low load. And we will also see uh, any sort of alarms if we have any, like overload, overheat, temperature low, short circuit, etc. Okay, we'll see them on the screen here. This is what the screen shows. All right, guys, I also want to remind you that we have giveaways every 20 minutes. I just realized I forgot to tell you this. So we have giveaways every 20 minutes. What are the, giveaway, the giveaways? The giveaways are the following um, Blue Attic cap, a Blue Attic t-shirt, and a, Blue, a K2 power bank, a K2 power bank. Okay, all right, Helena. Come on, <laughs> I'm like sign languaging here to you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, so now, all right, cool. Now, um, all right, guys, here are some common loads of runtime so you guys have an understanding how long you can charge and run different devices from EV55. Okay, so if you're charging your, your phone, it's a 10 watt hour phone, you can charge it. 40 to 50 hours, okay? So it's definitely enough to charge your and your bestie's phones. Now, uh, how about an LED light bulb, 20 watts? You can run it for 20 to 30 hours. Uh, a 70 watt hour, t a 70 w a 75 watt TV, you can run it for five to six hours. And electronic tools of 80 watts, you can run it for five to six hours. A fridge of 90 watts, you can run it for four to five hours. And a slow cooker up to 100 watts, if you're cooking off grid, you can run it for two to three hours from EB55. Now, how about the input? Again, guys, let's go through uh, the input and the rate. So from car charting, it depends on um, your car power socket. Normally, it would be 12 volts, so you will get almost 100 watts, uh, 98 watts of input. If you have a 24 volt car cigarette lighter, then you will get 196 watts of input. Now for DC adapter charging, we have 90 watts, 25, 28 volts AC, 10 amps, 200 watts max. For AC charging, uh, again, it's 200 watts max. For AC and PV dual charging, it's 400 watts max. And for dual AC charging, it's also 400 watts max. Okay. Now, the screen here is pretty basic, right? It just shows us stuff. We can see the battery life, the input, the output, the frequency, and any alerts and eco mode, whether it's on and on. By pressing and holding combination of buttons, we can also choose, we can also change the frequency and do some other stuff, but it's not really important. So I'll just leave it to you guys. So you can explore it in the user manual. What is in the box of EB55? We have AC and DC adapter and a charging cable. They're included. You do not have to purchase it separately unless you want to have dual AC charging. In this case, you want to get another AC adapter. Right now you can have two adapters, 200 watts, plus 100 watts, 400 watts of input, dual AC. We have a user manual, of course, and we have a warranty card. There are some extra options like a car charging cable XT60 to female, solar charging cable MC4 to XT60, and of course, as I said before, a charging adapter cable XT60 female, okay? Now, how about the price? The price, if you open bladdypower.com right now, you will see the price is $499. But right now, during the live stream from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can use the code LIVEEB55 and save $100. I'll show you guys how to do this later. Okay, let's connect. All right, uh, let me try if I can connect it this time. Last time I did struggle with it. Okay, look at me now, huh? I can connect it. Okay, cool. So, wait, don't switch to the screen yet. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, ready. Okay, here we are on YouTube, all right? So, go to the description. Um, Laddy Eva 55, here's the code. Let's copy the code, click the link, and we are right now on bluetypower.com. So, what I want to do is 
to check out what we're getting. So in this case, I'm getting a gray EVA 55. You can also try another color. We have orange and blue here, okay? And here we have this buttons, but it pop up, uh, buy with shop pay or more payment options. So you, you choose whatever you guys prefer. And by the way, we have uh, discounts here. We have, we have blue added bucks. I'll show you what it is later. So more payment options here, okay. Or by the shop pay does not matter. I mean, what you prefer. Okay, gift card and discount code. Let's enter the code here, okay. Um, so we're redeeming the code and we got $100 off because we, we entered this code. Um, and if we have any bloody bugs, we can also use them, okay? If you don't have any, totally fine. You already have $100 off. Okay, cool. Back to the studio. So this is how you purchase during the live stream, guys. Again, don't forget to enter those codes. They will save you money, okay? Now, next, guys. Um, IB55 is really great. So if you're looking for something portable, small power station to carry around with you, and at the same time, it will have much more battery life than, for example, EB3A behind me, right? And a higher a higher AC load, go for EB55. What's more, right now, by entering the code LIFE EB55, you will save $100. Okay, moving on to EB70S. EB70S. EB70S is basically like an elder brother of EB55. Looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. I actually can. All right, so put this one closer to me. So we're gonna be talking about it. All right, so here's EB55 and here's EB70S. All right, so what is the difference between EB70S and EB55? So EB70S has a massive 716 watt hour battery capacity, okay, as opposed to 537 watt hour capacity here. So the, you guys can see it's bigger, okay. What is this uh, component that occupies the majority of this, this space here in the room in the in any power station is the battery, okay. So um, this is bigger, has a bigger battery capacity, okay. Now 716 watt hours to be exact. It has the ultra stable lithium iron phosphate battery with 2500 plus life cycles. And again, the life cycle is the same here and here, but because the capacity is higher here, will take longer to discharge. So one life cycle will be longer. So 2500 plus life cycles will be even longer, right? So we'll, we'll use it for a long time. Now, Speaking about outlets, let's find out what is different here. On the top, it's all the same. It's a 15 watt um, wireless charging output. Put your phone here on the top, right? If your phone support, supports wireless charging, put it on the top, turn DC here, press the button, and you are ready to go. You can charge your phone right now from this wireless charging pad. Okay, now, what do we have here? Here we have an, uh, two, USB-C ports, 100 watts each, two USB-A ports, 5 volts and 3 amps, 15 watts, uh, one car charging socket, a cigarette lighter port, right, so 12 volt and 10 amp. Uh, here we have four USB, oh sorry, four uh, AC ports, right, one, two, three, four, again, pure sine wave, and 100 to 120 volts and 800 watts, 800 watts, okay? As opposed to 700 watts here on EB55. Okay, we also have a light here, all right? So you guys can see the light is different, it's like more targeted. Okay, we have different brightest modes and an SOS mode. And you can turn off too. Here is the input, this is the uh, AC input, uh, 20, uh, 1228, uh, here's an MPPT input, uh, 12 to 28 volts, 200 watts max, okay? All right, on the back side, we don't have anything. Here we have the fans. Here we just have some specifications. And again, the fans here. This is pretty much it. Uh, what do we have in the box of EB7DS? We have an AC adapter included. We have a car charging cable. We have a solar charging cable, user manual, 
and a warranty card, okay? The adapter is 47 inches long. The cable, I mean, uh, car turning cable is 28 inches long, and solar turning cable is 59 inches uh, long. And we have MC4 DC09 connector, okay? Now, how about the common load time? All right, so uh, if you're running your, let's say, if you're charging your smartphone, okay, since we have this angle, I'll show you guys the screen real quick. So uh, no matter what you're charging, you will see the input here, okay? This is how many watts are coming in mm -hmm. when you're charging your EB70S. Here's how many watts are coming out when you're actually using it, right? And here's the battery life right now. So we have 60% can be anywhere from 41 to 60%, really we don't know. Eco mode, uh, frequency here, and if we have any alerts, we'll see them. So it's absolutely the same screen as that of EB55. Okay, so if you're charging your phone, 10 watt hour phone, how many times you can charge it? Let's guess. It's actually 50 to 60 times. If you're charging an LED light bulb of 20 watts, and it's already like twice bigger than the normal one, you can run it for 20 to 30 hours. If you're uh, running a 75 watt TV, you can run it for seven to eight hours. If you're running 80 watt electronic tools, again, seven to eight hours. A fridge of 90 watts, six to seven hours. A slow cooker of 100 watts, two to three hours, okay? So this is the common lows runtime. And the price of EB70S, okay, is $569. And right now we have a discount that is live EB70S. With this discount code, the price for you is only $499. If you think about it, <laughs> and it's funny, the discount, co the, the discount price of EB70S is the same as the original price of EB55, okay guys? So now you see what discount codes really do. So $569, this is the website price of EB70S. You can open the website right now, uh, bloodypower.com, okay? And you can see the price is $569. If you use the code LIFE eb 70 s the price for you is $499, okay? So remember to use those codes, they are only valid during the live stream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, here we are, and um, let's go to the description. Glady eb 70 s copy the code. We only have the green one right now. Mm -hmm. Why we are demonstrating the blue one? Because we apply the EV70 as in the factory of our only uh, give us the blue one. Oh, okay. But we do have the gray one on sale right now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is here it is. Uh, we have gray here. Yeah, only gray, right? Yeah, we only have gray. Only have gray. We will use the gray one next time. We won't demonstrate it with the blue one. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah. So you guys can go for EB70S alone or EB70S and um, the solar panel, uh, either P120 or PV200. Uh, buy with shop pay or more payment option options. Enter the code. Click enter and 569 becomes 499, you guys are saving $70 right now, okay? Uh, if you have any bloody bucks like Helena does, you can also exchange them for a gift card for a coupon and save up to, in Helena's case, it's $20, oh, $50 here actually, okay, cool. So back to the studio. All right, so you guys probably saw we have bundles like uh, EB55 and EB70S with solar panels. So right now, let's talk about them. What solar panels do we have today to offer to you guys? To guys. So number one is PV120 solar panel with the maximum input of 120 watts. And before we get started, guys, I see we have a giveaway right now, okay? The clock is uh, has turned red, so we have to uh, start our first First giveaway, okay, so how do we take part in giveaways? Yes, remember, number one, you have to, of course, subscribe slash follow, okay? Number two, don't, don't forget to be active in the comments, drop us a like, share the last one with your friends, okay? With that out of the way, 
right now, please type in the comments t-shirt because it's the first giveaway is going to be a t-shirt okay bloody t-shirt a white bloody t-shirt so please type t-shirt in the comments just like william did yeah william you are the first one to type t-shirt very smart okay yeah guys keep typing t-shirt in the comments and our, our colleagues from our team will choose the most active ones from the comment from the comments okay it's not us who choosing that's our colleagues who are not emotionally engaged in the live stream and yeah the white t-shirt from Blady is being given away right now so here it is we have different sizes uh, and it says just power on just power on just power on Okay, this one is big for me, so I'm not wearing it. Last time I was wearing it, and it's really big. Like, but we have different sizes actually. All right, guys. So please have T-shirt in the comments. All right. So, and we are about to start our first giveaway. All right. So, T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt. Uh -huh. I actually don't think it's a good idea because right now everybody only thinking about the giveaway. So don't have like, you know, time to think about the prices and offers when everybody thinking about the giveaway. Uh, right. So guys, just w want to remind you that discount codes are only valid during the live stream. All right. So after the giveaway. Think about what you're getting today and don't forget to enter those discount codes. Okay, so we have 29 people right now on YouTube and we uh, we are choosing the winner right now. Okay, I will announce the winner in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. So the winner <clears throat> from YouTube is William Randall, Hello. William Randall. And the winner from Facebook, because yes, we go live on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time, okay? So uh, the winner from Facebook is J.M. Pietri. J.M. Pietri, congratulations, J.M. Pietri. Guys, please send an email to helena at bloody.com with your home address, phone number, and full name, and the t-shirt size, because we wanna ship the giveaway to you, okay? William Randall from YouTube, and J.M. Pietri from Facebook. Okay, congratulations, guys. You got our first giveaway, the t-shirt. And guys, regardless of whether you got or not, um, the giveaway or not, okay, the biggest, the biggest surprise because your day is, of course, our discounts, okay? You probably wanted to get power station a long time and you're wondering what is the best time what is the best time to get it the best time to get it is apparently during our live streams because we have those discount codes that are only valid for like two hours okay so you want to get them right now without wasting too much time all you want to do is just figure out what what power station you need okay and get it right now all right and let's talk about bundles let's talk about eb70s and eb55 um, in combination with solar panels. So we already started talking about PV120. P120 is a 120 watt maximum input solar panel with um, a long lasting ETFE coating. It's monocrystalline solar cells with up to 23.4% efficiency. It is compatible with almost all um, solar generators with MC4 connectors, okay? And we have a 24 month warranty for it. Just a couple of words about the warranty, guys. Our warranty uh, is at least one year. Okay, usually it's two years and more. It can reach five years for some bigger, more expensive power station. We just want you to have a peace of mind that if anything happens, you uh, have the warranty on you so you can always claim it. Okay, so um, PV120, uh, we don't have it in Saudi, unfortunately. We do have PV200. This looks Pretty much like P120, just bigger. I'll show it to you guys later. So P120, as you can see, um, it's uh, it says 23.4% high efficiency. That means that you can get some input even if it's not too very, very sunny. Okay. So I personally try charging 
through P120 uh, when the sun is not there in the sky, you will have a low input, but you will have some input like 20, 30 watts stable. Okay, and on a good day, you will have like 90 to 100 watts of input, you know, 120 watts is under ideal conditions. Just we were showing you that how much you can reach uh, maximum, but you, it's not, it does not mean you will have this like, um, you know, every input every day, but you will get a very high input, 100 watts more or less. Because you see guys, the solar input is, I, I use the word stable, I just think it's a good word because, uh, you know, solar input is everything but stable. It's very unstable actually. Um, because it depends on many factors. So number one is of course solar intensity, right? How much sun there is there in the sky. Number two is ambient temperature and you know many people think that the hotter the better. Well actually not. Uh, it's not that the hotter the better. The ideal temperature is actually around 77 Fahrenheit. So not too hot is it? Number three is of course the um, uh, angle that you position the solar panel to the sun at, okay, and I think most people would just, you know, uh, put the solar panels on the grass uh, in the backyard or just, you know, put them like f whatever angle and just leave them there because nobody has time to change the angle according to the sun and all this stuff, but yeah, apparently some people are just luckier or more skilled in choosing the angle uh, of the solar panels. And by the way, it's very easy to do without solar panels because we have those kickstands in the backside and you can choose the angle that you want you're not limited to a certain range. There you have a very, very wide option, okay? And number four, it also depends on the uh, length of the cord that you connect the solar panel to the power station, okay? All right, um, I'll show you guys our solar panels. So this is PV200, just for the record. But uh, again, thank you. Again, it's uh, PV120 looks almost the same. It's just it's smaller. So here is uh, PV200, okay. So I'm just, I just wanna show you guys the, uh, you know, the design. So we have the logo here, Blady. Here's a nice carrying handle. It's very solid, okay. Nothing will happen to it. Nothing happened to it by far. Um, so here's how we zip it, okay. And the thing I like about it is that all the cords are here. They're actually built in. If you guys can take a look here, they're built in. You will never lose them, okay. And here we have the technical specs that are important. You don't have to keep them in mind because you always have them here. So uh, we have model name, of course, peak power, uh, 200 watts, th because this is PU200. Solar cell lamination, um, EDFE, uh, voltage at max power, okay, 20.5 volts. Current at max power, 9.7 amps. Open circuit voltage, 26.1 volts. Uh, short circuit current is 10.3 amps and even operating temperature um, minus 10 Celsius to 65 Celsius. We have those like credentials here, okay. And again, this is ETFE coding um, built to last. It also has a certain level of waterproofness IP65, but we still do not recommend you guys expose it to water or even using it when it rains. Not a good idea. And on the back side, I want to show you guys here, we have those kickstands that we were talking about. So you guys see this, these are the kickstands. What you can do is you can shoot the angle here is 45 degrees. And if you're moving up, up is plus five. Uh, if you're moving down, it's minus five. So you are able to choose the angle here, okay? So it can be anywhere from, from this all the way down to, to this, okay? <laughs> this, is the, this is how you can choose the angle to get the maximum input possible. And we have um, this kickstands uh, all the way, all the way on the solar panel. Uh, we have four panels if you actually uh, see it open. Okay, so here we go. You guys can see we have like four big, pretty big uh, panels. Yeah, it does look big and it is big. It is big. Uh, 200 watts, it's not easy to get. Uh, we are just spoiled because we have this 350 watt solar panel. So we're thinking that everybody is, uh, everything that is lower than that is not that big, but it actually is big. Um, 
One more thing about our solar panels is, as you guys can see, you can use them both um, in your household, in your backyard, and you can also take with you, right? Those are not rigid solar panels. They're not mounted to your roof. <laughs> no disrespect to mounted to roof solar panels. They're, those are fantastic. I'm just saying that you can have both and you can you can use them you know both in your backyard if you don't like travel a lot if you don't uh, go camping a lot totally fine you can use them in your backyard you can carry them around okay you can take them with you if you're going to do yoga outdoors with your bestie or with your friends with some like outdoor workout all right and you have like 10 people there you're gonna have like two hour workout you know people have their phones discharge on the heat you can actually profit from the heat and from the heat but from solar from solar intensity from uh, the sun and it can charge the power station with a solar panel and you know you can just like this is the cool thing about carrying being able to carry the solar panel around also our solar panels can be hung on uh, the vans um, it's also a good good point about them so if you guys are van enthusiasts you guys van traveling it's a good thing to know for you. You can just hand it on your van. Okay, now how about recharging time of PV120? Again, that was PV200. PV120 is the same, just smaller. Okay, because the input is lower, right? So the recharging time refers to 80% of power level being charged from, from zero to 80%. We want to find out how much time it needs to get our portable power station recharge from PV120. So let's talk about EV55 right now. EV55 again is 537 watt hour battery. Um, now with one PV120 it will take us five hours to recharge from zero to 80 percent. And even though five hours sound does not sound like a short time, don't forget you can charge it and discharge it at the same time. Okay, it does not harm the battery. Bloody AC200P. AC200P is a 2000 watt hour power station. Now, to, to do it like faster, we do need two PV120 panels. With two of them, we'll be able to recharge AC200P as soon as in eight and a half hours. If we're talking about a smart max, it's slightly bigger capacity. It's not 2000 watts like for a but 2048 watt hours. I mean, watt hours, sorry. Uh, with four PV120 solar panels, you'll recharge it in four and a half hours. Now for a 300 and B300 together, and B300 is battery capacity is uh, 3072 watt hours. So three kilowatt hours, right? With eight PV120 solar panels, and you might think, eight, oh my gosh, that's a lot. That is a lot. You probably want to think about PV200 panel, okay? Um, but still, with eight PV120 solar panels, we will recharge it in three and a half hours. And finally, for Blady EV500, we don't talk about EV500 recently, but it's a good model. And do you guys own any EV500? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is like that, power station you put on the, we put on the wheels actually. So uh, EV100 has the battery capacity of 5,120 watt hours. And with six PV120 solar panels, you will recharge in as soon as seven and a half hours, okay? How about the price of PV120? I'll tell you. So the website price is $299. But here we are during this live stream, okay? We can enjoy the discount. And the price for us is only $249. Uh, discount code is LIFEPV120. Let's check if it works. What do you think? Okay, let's let's do the let's show let me guys show you how to purchase during the live stream. Alright, so here we are guys. You can also be on Facebook, totally fine. So let it even P120. Okay. So you go here on the website and don't forget to enter the code. Okay, Blady PV120. All right, so let's wait for the button to pop up. We already have something in a card, by the way. What is it? 
All right, so more payment options. Yeah, I don't know. So $299 with this code is only $249. Okay, back to the studio. All right, uh, let me see you guys. Let me see your comments. Didn't check your comments for a while. Okay. All right, guys. Guys, if you're on Facebook, I'm sorry I can't see your comments because I only opened YouTube here. You know, I can't get too distracted. <laughs> so, um, all right, guys. Welcome, welcome, James Morrow and Ezra Camacho, uh, Rizipt, Silver Steeler. These are all the guys I know. Waveform Science. Uh, yes, okay, great. And by the way, guys, our next giveaway is coming in, what, seven minutes? Yes, seven minutes. So stay tuned and call your friends. They have enough time to enter the live stream for the next giveaway. We have 30 people right now watching us on YouTube and how many on Facebook? <laughs> Just curious, because I have Facebook here. But anyway, guys, let's keep going. Let's keep exploring solar panels and power stations together so we can choose the perfect one for you, okay? Let's keep going. So, our solar panels again, PV120. Uh, the website price is $299, and right now the live stream price, because discount codes are only valid during the live stream, it's, um, one, it's $249. Exactly. Okay, cool. Keep going. So, next panel is, of course, PV200. It's just a higher input. 200 watts max as opposed to 120 watts max for P120. So, you know, other characteristics are really the same. So the battery, the, the, sorry, not the battery, the cell efficiency is up to 23.4%, affordable and portable, long lasting ETF coating, compatible with most uh, solar generators, 24 month warranty. Okay, now here's some time, um, estimated time of recharging different power station with PV200 this time, okay? And the solar panel I showed you guys just like five minutes ago was PV200. So if we're charging um, in 55, okay, let's, let's, take, let's take the same the same power station we just named for P120. So, and again, this is going to be from zero to 80%. So in 55, okay, with one PV200, it's going to, uh, it's going to take us three hours, three hours. Um, for AC 100P, 2,000 watt hours, um, with two PV200 panels, gonna take us five and a half hours. For AC 100 Max, again, two kilowatt hours, with four PV200s, will take us three hours. For AC 300 and B300, again, with three kilowatt hours, uh, with eight PV200s, will take us two and a half hours only. And for EP500 with 5.1 kilowatt hours, uh, with six PV200 panels will take us four and a half hours. Okay, the coating is the same, it is fee, um, and it's built to last, it has waterproof, uh, IP65 waterproof, but again, don't expose it to rain or uh, other water, okay? Um, it's not that waterproof. <laughs> The website price of P200 is $499 and the live stream price is $429. The discount code is LIFEPV200. Okay. And finally, our biggest solar panel by far available on the website. We are working on even bigger solar panels. Maybe you already own uh, PV400, right? From our Indiegogo campaign, it was over. Uh, but Right now, I'm talking about PV350, and I have it right there. Uh, is it that one? Right? This one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because we have like a couple of solar panels that look similar. Not, not all of them made it to the market, but here is PV350. Okay, guys, can see how, how much bigger it is. No wonder that the maximum input is actually more that than of uh, PV200 and PV120 combined, okay? It's 350 watts of input maximum. Okay, now, other characteristics are similar. Again, I wanna say, I want to highlight that, is, um, that can work not only with our power station, but also with most solar generators, okay? Um, so, what we have here is the same kind of design so that all the cords are actually attached to the P200 
PV350's body, so we will never lose them. MC4 connectors are here. All right, so they are here. Here are the technical uh, specs, details. We have the model name, uh, the peak power, solar cell, moto, um, cell efficiency, uh, 23.4%, voltage at max power is 37.5 volts, current at max power is 9.2 amps, open circuit voltage is 46.5 volts, and short circuit current is 10.8 amps. And open temperature is from minus 10 to 65 Celsius, so the temperature is the same as in other models. All you want to do, all you want to really pay attention to is the um, open circuit voltage and amperage there and maximum uh, voltage. So you have all the details there. Um, when you need to know them, you know where to look. Okay, guys. So what? Snow? Sorry? Yeah, snow. So, like, what type of panel? I'm sorry, looking for what? What, what type of snow? Uh, <laughs> snow panel. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Uh, they were asking about solar panels. Uh -huh. for a snow belt. For a snowboard. Snow belt. Snow belt. I don't know what that snow belt is, but probably you're living somewhere snowing a lot. Uh, snow belt. Yeah. In the snow belt. Oh, okay. Well. Easy. Uh, I, I, well, first of all, I don't know what snowbound really means. If that's what Helena thinks, like uh, <laughs> Atlantic Atlantic provinces of Canada, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, then um, minus ten Celsius is the limit <laughs> in Canada. It gets much colder than that, so probably you won't be able to use them a lot. What does snowbound mean? Uh, <laughs> mm. Correct. Now you see the, the, the limitation here in terms of the temperature unfortunately is minus 10 Celsius for all of them. You can't go really lower than that. Okay. So, mm, but minus yeah. 10 is like probably common. Like, but you see, you know, better than me in Canada it can be like minus 20. I was, yeah. <laughs> Where, you were in Vancouver or? No, I was in Nova Scotia. Okay. Michigan, oh, okay. Mi mm. what, uh, Michigan. Michigan. New York. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's the minus difference? ten Celsius? Minus ten Celsius is the limit. It's okay. it's what it says here. Okay. It's higher than minus ten, then they can. Be from higher. minus ten to sixty-five. Okay. From minus ten Celsius to plus sixty-five Celsius. Mm -hmm. I don't think it ever hits plus sixty-five mm -hmm. anywhere <laughs> Celsius. Okay, not okay. Fahrenheit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Um, Water resistant. Yes, IP65 water resistant, but we still do say don't expose it to water. It's kind of counter contradictional. So um, you see, it is waterproof. It will protect you from some splashes if it's like uh, raining a little bit. But again, don't like <laughs> charge it. Don't use it in the middle of a I don't know lake or something. Uh, don't expose it to water. Okay. All right, guys. Let's keep going. So uh, you think I should open it because it's so big? I mean, I really, I really. <laughs> we'll struggle to open it, but I will open and just show you guys how big it is. PV350. Okay, here it is. Oh my god. It's scary. Okay, the other way around, upside down, because we want to use those kickstands. This table is, of course, not a good surface to put it on, okay, because it's so slippery. But, but those are the kickstands you guys can use, and you can control the angle here, okay? Now, Open it up and let's see how big it is at the end. And yeah, I guess this is giveaway time. Okay. All right. So here it is, guys. Here it is. Oh my God, it's like huge. Yeah. I'm not like Bjorsen or what is this guy name? Icelandic guy who's a strong man. <laughs> um, I think his name is Half Thor Bjorsen from Iceland. So, but I can lift this thing, but it's it's hard. It's it's heavy. Um, I think so. You have to you have to check the open circuit voltage. Okay, so um, oh, you have to check the DC open circuit voltage. All right, 
uh, and so here I can see DC port is from 12 to 150 volts DC okay and let's check the voltage here again technical details are in the user manual and also here so let's see voltage next power is 37.5 volts um, and open circuit voltage is 46.5 volts so I think yes you can yes you can uh, it's in the appropriate range okay all right yes guys so this was PS350. I'm very happy that I finished showing to you guys because it was heavy to actually uh, hold it like that. But the good thing is that you don't have to hold it. It has kickstands if you can just lay it on something, or you can just uh, use those kickstands on the backside. All right, so don't worry about it. Okay, all right. So, so um, giveaway, right? Yeah, we give away a cap, bloody cap. This one. Okay, the bloody cap. Um, so please type cap in the comments. C A P cap. Thirty six people. Yeah, thirty four people right now. Hopefully more people are coming. Invite your friends for the giveaway. Right? Imagine you you inviting your friend. Here she just came to the live room and scored the giveaway. So thank you for showing it. Oh no, I, I mean <laughs> my pleasure. So it was not that heavy. Don't feel too sorry for me. <laughs> That's my job, <laughs> you know. It was not too heavy. Yeah, good thing is that again, you don't have to hold it. But do you remember, Helena? We have this picture on the website where a guy just holding the solar panel. Uh, yeah, just like that. <laughs> like it's so funny. I don't know. Just holding the solar panel uh, on the beach, right? And I just feel so sorry for him. Like, dude, you don't have to hold it. You just can live it there. Maybe some solar panels get stolen. When people left them on the floor uh, on the on the beach, I don't know. Anyway, guys, <laughs> send me all the merch. Says Mark Flat. Mark Flat. Speaking about the merch, Mark Flat. You know, I've always been saying that the merch is not available, but apparently, right now, what merch? Uh, bloody merch. If you, yeah, I know. I said I've always been saying that bloody merch is not available, but right now, apparently, if you spend a certain amount of money on our website. You can get a uh, bloody t-shirt, bloody cap, bloody hoodie even, even a bloody little fridge, a uh, small fridge I should say, and um, what, a lanthorn, a, a cooking tool, a small, a small portable light, things like that. Check it out guys on the website. For we'll do the giveaway in the future about these ones too. Oh wow, I didn't know that, but cool, good to know that. Okay, 40 people right now. Guys, don't forget to subscribe slash follow because it's um, absolutely a must to take part in our giveaway. And remember guys, it's like a week ago, so we just hit 10,000 subscribers right now. Guess what we at? 11.6 thousand subscribers. We are growing and growing, guys. I am very grateful to you. What a cap, uh, this cap, okay? Not to be misunderstood, okay? I don't want any ambiguous thoughts here. It's not a cap. Our giveaways are real. But we give away this bloody cap, this cap. Okay, right. So, um, right now we are choosing the winner and we already have one. I'll announce the winner in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Let's go! So the winner from YouTube is Moe Lissol. Moe Lissol. Let me spell it. It's M O E L Y S O L. Um, okay, Moe Lissol. Congratulations! And the winner from Facebook is. Asver Camacho! Asver Camacho! From Facebook! Okay, here's for Asver Camacho and Molly you from YouTube. Thank you, thank you guys. Don't forget to send an email to helena at bloody.com for the shipment. Send her your uh, shipping address, your phone number, your full name, okay? And the screenshot that you want, because we don't want everybody to send the email and say, hey, I won, okay? Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot where Bloody Official says, congratulations, Asher Camacho, congratulations, Molissel. Okay. 
yeah, for me, I just want to have some water. All right, congratulations, guys. All right, so we just dropped from like 40 to 33 people, and it's understandable, but I just want to tell you guys that you are missing on a bigger picture. You see? I don't know where did, where did I even start. Look, solar panels will save you lots of money, okay? Solar panels have an extraordinary long lifespan. If you just Google how long a solar panel, a portable solar panel can serve you, it's going to be like 25, 30 years. Something I really, really... Um, I, I personally, I don't know if it actually can last that long. Okay, we have a two-year warranty. It means that if within this two years it doesn't function as it's promised to, then you can you know you can negotiate. You can like have a refund, or you can just you can just ask customer service what is going on, right? So we have two year. So it makes me think for solar panels. No, 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 right now it's twelve months. But are you sure? Because last time you told me it's twenty four months. It's because on the user menu for all the like. All the uh, solar panels that now uh, storage in warehouse in the US uh -huh. is 24 months. Okay. So right now, if you purchase it, you still get 24 months because most of them on the user menu is still 24 months. Okay. But the new. We knew we're gonna get 12 months, right? Uh, we changed our policy. Okay. Well, I don't know why though, but anyway, guys. But if you receive your user menu saying 24 months, then yes. Please. Yeah. All right. So we apparently we're changing. Apparently they are changing the. The policy, I actually don't know what is, wh why is that? Well, anyway, guys, uh, one, year so, one year warranty is also pretty good, if you think about it. Okay, do you have any future plans for making a portable air conditioning unit? Oh, I don't know. Are you asking Larry? Uh, I'm not sure if we have any plans uh, according to uh, about this. But we are planning to, to explore wind energy further, okay? This is very interesting. That's very interesting. So we gotta maybe we'll have some updates on that. Okay, guys. So for PV three hundred fifty, the price it, are we uh, live right now? Uh, is everything okay? Because here it's it stopped. You have stopped. Yeah. Okay. Pause. Yeah. Probably I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's your Wi-Fi. Just keep going. All right. Cool. So guys, right now for PV three hundred fifty, the price is. $849, okay, but with the code LIFEPV350, the price is $799, all right, all right, okay, guys, so um, let's keep going, and the next one is, of course, our bundles, EP70S and PV120 together. You want to get a portable power station and a solar panel together, a bundle. So the website price is $868. And right now the live stream price is $748 with a discount code EB70SPV120. Just copy the code from the description on Facebook or on YouTube. For EB70S and PV200 solar panel, the website price is $1,068. And the live stream price is $928. Discount code is EB70S PV200. Okay, now guys, with that out of the way, when we finish talking about smaller portable power stations, let's move on AC300 and B300. I am so excited about it. I'm honest, I'm honest, because you know, it's just, it's always, it always feels, I don't know, interesting to move from these to these because it's all a different game you see here we're talking about what 500 watt hours 700 watt hours but here we will talk about three kilowatt hours and potentially 12 kilowatt hours so wow let's 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 keep going guys let's keep going a6300 and b300 i'll put both b55 and b 50 s here Let's move on those guys. All right. So here is AC300. And watch me do this. It's very lightweight. Can you guess why it's so lightweight? Any guesses? Because it has no battery inside. It has no battery inside. But this one is heavy, okay? B300 is heavy. You want to know that. You don't want to hang out with that. Just, you know, carrying it around like this with one hand. Don't do that. Heavy, right? But guys, there is 
nothing we can do about it really. No way around making it lightweight. I personally was in the factory. I saw how those are being done, how those are being manufactured, okay? We don't put stones there on purpose to make it heavy. It's heavy because of the battery. Because of lithium iron phosphate battery with how many life cycles? Can you guess? 1,000, 2,000, well, 3,500, guys. 3,500 plus life cycles, okay? And how, of course, it has to be heavy. Good news for you guys is that American lifestyle, we all are on the, on the go driving cars. So you can put it in your car, okay? You will not feel the weight. All right, so for Europe, it's probably a little bit different. So for Europe, we have different models that are popular, okay, usually more portable, right? But those ones are also popular there because the energy is very expensive in Europe right now. Uh, the electricity, I mean. And these are good ones to have home because it's a modular solar generator, okay? Uh, you can charge it with solar and you can use it, you can discharge it, at night or when there is no sun in the sky, collect the energy with solar panels, store it there and use it when you need. Look, solar panels are great, okay? And I'm, I'm a big fan of rigid solar panels. Those are just fantastic. But what if there is no sun, okay? What if just the weather is, you know, not, I don't want, want to say the weather is bad, but no sun whatsoever, right? So you need something to store the solar energy and that's why I recommend modular solar generators like this one, AC300, okay? So how about dimensions? It's uh, 20.5 inches by 12.5 inches. Uh, as you probably have guessed, is the same length and width as the one of B300. It can be put under the top uh, on one another, so, you know, fits really nicely. Uh, the weight of AC300 is 47.6 pounds, okay? And again, this one has no battery, even though you can buy it separately, but it has no battery. You do need at least one B300 battery and only B300, AC300 only works with B300. You do need at least one B300 battery for AC300 to actually function. Okay guys, please remember that. Now, it has the inverter and UPS and all those outputs. So let's take a look at the outputs. On the top, we have two wireless charging pads. One, two, 15 watts each. Okay, in front, what do we have? We have 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug. 24 volt and 10 amp car power socket. But again, guys, 24 volt only. It's faster and more stable charging or running your devices like a refrigerator. But if you have some devices that only support 12 volt, maybe CPAP machines or things like that. Don't worry, you always have a 12 volt and 10 amp on the B300 battery here. Okay, now we have a USB Type C port, 100 watts quick charging. We have two quick charge USB A ports, 18 watts, two of them. Standard USB A ports, 5 volts and 3 amps, 15 watts. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 20 amp max, 100 to 120 volts, um, basically AC chargers, right? And a 30 amp max recreation vehicle use only, NEMA TT30, 3000 watts max. This is what we have on AC300. Let's take a look what we have on B300 on the battery because just for the record, B300 also has some outputs. Let's take a look at them, okay? All right, so here it is. It's like you're gone. You're I know, it's okay. okay. I will still be remembered. So, uh, USB C 100 watts, USB A 18 watts, a battery button turned on and off, 12 volt and 10 amp carburetor socket, and the button turn on. Look what happens, guys. If you turn it on, of course it will turn on, okay? The battery can work on its own, no problem whatsoever. We have a battery indicator right now showing us uh, 40%, so it's actually anywhere from 20% to 40% really, because we don't have exact percentage here. Uh, we can run it right now, run the battery. You can charge our phones here, okay, run our LED lights, even fridges. But if I, if I click the button of AC300 here, I cannot turn it on. 
Okay, let's let me just show it to you guys because we have new people here. So look, click the button, does not turn on because it has no battery, and we have to connect the B300 battery to a C300. How do we connect them? Any guesses? We use this cable, okay? You absolutely need a cable to connect. So, all right, all right now I'll teach you how to do that because I sometimes struggle with it too. You have to know the sequence, the, the uh, yeah, the sequences. So, um, the order. Number one, you have to make sure it's unlocked. See, here it can be either locked or unlocked. Make sure it's unlocked, okay? Just personal advice, make sure it's unlocked. Number two, uh, this works both ways, really, like, doesn't matter. Uh, plug it in, battery one here. Okay, push it forward. Okay, cool, now it's in. Um, this one goes to battery one here. Push it, okay. Now, this is not it, you have to lock it. So you have to push forward to lock. Right now it's locked. If you don't lock it, the battery will not kick on. Just, it just will not. Okay, right now I locked it. Make sure you turn the battery on. And you see guys what happens? This battery turned on. Uh, again, I'm sorry, not, not the battery. This unit, the main unit turn on. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. How does it work? Uh, I might be confusing people because just I just I just coded a battery by mistake, but it's not a battery. It's a call you can call it a main unit, okay? Main unit. It's a good word. It's a good name. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, you guys see right now we have something that is a screen. We can see the battery life. So here we could only see all right, um, from like 20 to 40 percent, but here we right now can see it actually is 27 percent. Okay, and let's explore the screen together. Uh, can we have a closer look at the screen? Cool. Okay. All right. So number one, the better life here. We also have the date. Okay, the time. All right. Oh, it's actually it's actually December, right? I've always been thinking it's 12 months, the other thing is 11. Okay, anyway, so the date here um, and the time is here. Okay, here we have the PV input and grid input. We will see how many watts are coming in from, from PV. And again, from PV, it does not necessarily mean from a PV like photovoltaic, okay, from PV in the sense of solar panel. PV means PV input. It can be solar panel, it most likely is a solar panel if using solar panels. It also can be other, pro, uh, other Turing methods. And from grid input, or from wall outlet, or maybe from a generator, okay? Now, we will see how many watts are coming in. Even from the homepage, we don't, we don't have to click, we don't have to enter, and we don't have to do anything, we will see it here. If you, wanna, if you want to take a look at the specific details, just click here and you will see DC1 input voltage, DC2 input voltage, DC1 input power, same one here, okay? Same goes for a grid. You will see not only how many watts are coming in, you can also see AC input uh, voltage, okay? How many volts and AC input frequency, 60 hertz in America. Um, Here's the DC load. So DC load, what it, what it shows us is how many watts are being drawn from DC outputs. And what are the DC outputs? Two wireless shirting pads at the top, 12 volt 30 amp RV plug, 24 volt 10 amp um, car power socket, USB-C port, and USB-A ports here. Those are DC. So we will be, we will be able to uh, to watch how many watts are being drawn. And if we click here, we'll observe total DC output power, total, right? And 24, 24 volt 10 amp out power. So we'll, we'll observe um, specific, like an exact information, explicit information about each port. Okay, next, AC load. It's the same thing. Output voltage, output power, and output frequency, okay? Now, the battery, click in the center, we will see 
the battery percentage for each battery. And you guys remember, we actually mentioned briefly, we can connect maximum four batteries. Right now we have connected just one battery. It shows us battery two, okay, number two, three of them here are gray and only one is like orange or whatever color that is. We can see battery state of charge, 27%, battery online, yes, it is online, and battery state standby. We can connect three more batteries. We can connect maximum four batteries to one AC300. Okay, and the capacity would be 12 kilowatt hours, even more than that, because you see one B300 battery is actually 3072 watt hours. You can connect maximum four batteries to one AC300. Okay, here is the button to turn DC on. So when we need to use any of those ports, like any of those, including wireless charging pass on the top or this 12 volt and 30 amp RV plug, we have to make sure we actually turn DC on, okay? Right now, we can start using those ports. For example, if I want to wirelessly charge my phone right now, let me try just to showcase that it works. So I'll just put it here on the top of this wireless charging pad and let's see if we have any output. Four watts, five watts, it's gonna be climbing up. So DC is working right now. What happens if I turn it off? will not have any load, right? Okay, no load, yeah, my phone stopped charting there on the top. Same works for AC, so AC on, okay, and right now I can be charging um, my phones or other devices from those AC outputs here. Okay, all right, and turn AC off when done. Next one is settings. What do we have here? We have language settings, uh, English or Japanese, okay. Now, let's go back to English. AC output voltage, either 100 volts or 120 volts. So you can choose the voltage here. For the USA, it's 120 volts. AC output frequency, 50 hertz for Japan, uh, Australia, the UK, European Union, and 60 hertz for USA and Canada. DC1 input source. PV if it's PV and others if it's others. Same for DC2 input source. Next, eco mode. Eco mode on. So eco mode actually says what it is here. Eco mode shuts down the AC inverter without affecting DC after four hours of no load or load lower than 30 watts, okay? For AC300. I prefer keeping it on because it saves me battery. Machine type, single phase or split phase? So single phase is, as you probably can guess, when we're using one AC300. We can use from one B300 battery, at least one. We can use two batteries, we can use three batteries, we can use four batteries maximum. Is there a way to go further than that? Yes, there is. Because we can go split phase mode if we have two AC300s and you can actually purchase them on our website. You have two AC300s now, now you click split phase mode. If I click split phase mode now, it will give an error, it will give me an alarm, an alert, because, you know, obviously I'm only having one AC300 right now. But if you have two AC300s, okay, again, each of them needs at least one battery to work, one AC300 battery, so you have, let's say, minimum like one is 300, one with 300, like right now, and one more, S300 and one more B300. You have this communication cable, the input is right there, you connect AC300s together, that's it, and right now we can go split phase mode. You will also have this thing that you can double the voltage, so from 120 volts it will go to 240 volts, but it does not mean that each port will have this voltage. No, in fact, only one port will have this voltage. And uh, this port will be on a fusion box. You can check it out on the website. Okay, yeah. And also, from 3000 watts, we'll go to 6000 watts, <laughs> right? We'll double it. Okay, now silent mode, on or off, 
silent mode basically uh, shuts, uh, slows down uh, the f slows down so that, that you can hear no fans. Okay, so um, silent mode here. Uh, max grid input current by default is 15 amps max but if you need to go further than that you can go up to 30 amps and you do need a password as it says here you have to email Blatty's customer service for the password and I cannot show you the password guys because the password is actually the same <laughs> so uh, and by far everybody who were filming uh, reviews and videos <laughs> did a great job on keeping it a secret Okay, next, uh, PV parallel enable, it means it, it depends uh, if you're using PV in parallels or in sequences, uh, Bluetooth on and off, Bluetooth is for the app, so we do have an app, if you like using the app, keep Bluetooth on, if you're in absolutely extreme situations where you need to save the battery as much as possible, make sure you keep Bluetooth off, okay, alright, next, Wi-Fi, the same thing, the Blatty app works with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. If you are in a normal situation, not an extreme situation, surviving in the woods, keep it on. You will use it with the app. If you absolutely need to save a battery, turn it off. Okay, Wi-Fi state right now shows disconnect and Bluetooth state disconnect because it is not connected to any Bluetooth device, aka a phone. Buzzer setting, if there is an alert, can be anything. Overload, overheat, temperature low, uh, low battery, short circuit, etc. Do you want to hear a buzz? Like, beep, you know, for example, if I, if here, we had to choose the working mode, I, I would, uh, the machine type, I would choose the split phase, I would have an alert. I would not hear it if I turn the buzzer settings off. So I prefer keeping it on. And by the way, guys, I just missed a very important part here. Um, is a working mode. So this is really an interesting one, okay? Working mode is UPS. UPS is uninterruptible power supply. Uh, so we have standard UPS, aka offline UPS. I always like giving this example because it's easy to understand. Let's say you're working on your computer, personal computer, okay? And your computer is of course plugged in a grid power in a wall outlet, right? So when the grid power goes off, during blackouts, okay? You lose all this information that you worked on. Well, of course, I, I hope that you have this auto save, uh, you know, mode on, but this wouldn't happen if you plug your computer in the any port right here, like let it be the, this, this output here, okay? And you plug your AC300 and B300, in this case, in a wall outlet. So when the grid power is there, you don't spend the battery of A300 and B300, okay? But when the battery, when the when the grid power goes off, in a matter of milliseconds, you get switched to A300 and B300 batteries. So uh, your computer will stay on like nothing happened. This is standard UPS mode, uninterruptible power supply. We have a couple of more, uh, a couple more options like. Uh, Time control UPS, okay, and we can set the time settings here, okay. So uh, charge and discharge time here, start and end, when to start and when to end. We can set up to six periods here, okay. So when does when when does it start charging and when is uh, um, st stop charging? We have charge and discharge modes here. Okay, and parameter settings, battery SOC low, battery SOC high, instead of charge low, so instead of charge high. So when the battery hits 10%, it will turn off the low, it will turn off the inverter so that you can save this, you can, uh, you can, you can save this battery, you know, for, for, for future needs. And when the battery is charged to like, let's say 95% or 99 uh, or 90, how you set it, will stop charting, okay? Um, customize UPS, you can control grid charge status, time control status, time settings here again, uh, up to six time periods, okay? And uh, as also settings here again, 
battery SOC low, battery SOC high. Okay. All right, guys, I can see the giveaway time. Give me a second to finish, and we'll, we'll, we'll do our third giveaway by far. Mm -hmm. Okay, touch sound. Touch sound is the touch sound of the screen right now. So it might, might not seem like a problem, but if you're really trying to change something in the settings and it's always like beeping there, you probably might want to turn it off. Backlight brightness, brightness of the screen can be as dim as that and as bright as that. Again, if you absolutely need to save the battery, um, just slide it like down to the, to the, to the dimmest mode, to the darkest mode. Okay, day settings, so the date here and time here. We can also check, ch ch you can also change it. Next, we have sleep time of the screen, can be uh, 20, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, or never. Just realize the screen is really too dim. Okay, and if you just click a bunch of stuff and you forgot what you clicked and God forbid something is malfunctioning, you just go and restore the factory settings of the USA. Okay. All right, guys, we are done with the settings. We still want to talk about data, but let's first do the giveaway because, you know, the clock turned red. It means the giveaway time is there. And our third giveaway is the K2 power bank, isn't it? The K2 power bank. So if you want to take part in the giveaway, please type K2 in the comments, like a capital K and two or any K really, K2 in the comments and make sure that you have subscribed slash followed us, okay? It's very important if you wanna take part in our giveaways, all right? All right, great. So let's go for it, let's go, let's go. K2, 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 and while I guess having K2, I'm just thinking, hey, Helena, how about we charge this laptop right now from a 600 just to show. Oh, uh, is it? Oh, we have another AC200 Max from memory. Mm, oh, yeah. You can, oh, no. oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We can try to charge it next time because you, you're always charging it, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, yeah. Are you charging your phone right now? Uh, no, because this is off. But uh, okay. I would be. But why couldn't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so K2, 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 guys. K2 in the comments, right? K2 in the comments. This is our third giveaway. Guys, you can see we have giveaways every 20 minutes. Isn't that great? Okay, 30 people are watching us right now, guys. Invite your friends. Invite your friends. Let's have fun together. Uh, giveaways, aren't those fun? Okay, let's go. 30 people right now watching us. Uh, please type K2 and make sure guys you have smashed that like button, it helps us a ton, it really costs you nothing but helps us enormously with the algorithms. We have more people attracted to our live streams and more people can find their solar solution for their on or off grid life. Okay, 33 people are watching us right now. We only have 40 minutes. Uh, before the end of our live stream, that means that the discount codes also expire in 40 minutes. Okay, so you want to make sure that you use them before they expire. All right, so K2, K2, K2. 40 people right now watching us on, on YouTube, and we also have many, many people on Facebook. Okay, the K2 Power Bank is a big one. I don't have it. Do we have it here today? Mm, not sure. Oh, we do? Okay, I'm just, I just want to show it to you. I don't know where we put it from last time. And again, guys, just want to use this opportunity to really tell you that the best time to purchase our power station is power stations is during the live stream. So even if you don't want to get anything today, follow or subscribe and purchase during the next live stream where the prices are best because we have those discount codes, right? You can see, guys, you're saving 100. $200 crazy discounts out of nowhere just because we have the live stream. And here's the K2 power bank. Let's take a look how big it is. This is the K2 power bank. We're giving it away right now. I'm going to be straightforward about it. You will not be able to put it in your jeans pocket, okay? <laughs> but you can put it in your backpack and rest assured that you will always have enough power charge your laptops, phones, headphones, speakers. <laughs> voice is like lowering and lowering. 
<laughs> yeah. You're not trusting the creative. <laughs> I, yeah, I do trust it. Okay, great. Did I someone charge the Eevee through a creative? Oh, really? Yeah. What? And then he emailed me back. He was like, "Oh, I charged my EV3 from K2. I was just doing it for fun." All right. So the giveaway is on both Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yes, James. On both on Facebook and on YouTube. All right, guys. I am almost ready to announce the winner in ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so the winner from YouTube is Julie Rosso. Julie Rosso. Congratulations, Julie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And our winner from Facebook is Anthony Demasi. Anthony Demasi. Congratulations, Anthony. Congratulations, Anthony. Congratulations, Julie. Guys, you just won the K2 Power Bank. K2 Power Bank. Okay? Okay. Right now, guys, don't forget to contact Helena at bluetti.com. Tell her your shipping address, your phone number, and your full name so we can ship it to you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. All right. So it's Helena at bluetti.com. All right. And keep the screenshot, guys. Please keep the screenshot where Bluetti official says congratulations or basically things like that. Right. It's a good one. It's 175 watt hours. Yes, it is. Uh, unbelievable. It's 175 watt hours. It's a lot of capacity for a power bank. Okay. So let's keep going. And we were on uh, data settings in the app. Uh, in the. Oh, sorry. I just spoiled like what is going to happen. It's. Not the app, it's the screen. Just want to show you guys that you you can you really will see a lot of stuff from the screen, okay? So let's set the screen to never mode here. Uh, turn off never. Slip time from one minute. Let's change it to never because we are showing how the screen works right now. So data. What we have here is what we have here is. Product info. Okay. So we have a model here, the serial number, and all the versions. Okay. Next. A battery pack, BMS version, battery pack one, battery pack two, battery pack three, and battery pack four. Of course, they are zeros because we only have connected one battery right now. Battery information. Really, the same thing we could access from the home page. Alarm history. Uh, we don't have any alarms now, but if we had any, we would see the number, like number one, two, three, four, five, the occurrence time, and the error code. If after we fix them, we can clear them. Okay, no current alarms, as you guys can see. So this is the screen of. AC 300 okay and now let me show you the app let me show you the app okay here we are on the app all right yeah we are gonna do that right now <laughs> if you guys saw like the amount of body language happening behind the screens you would laugh it's just hard to focus on like no, no no I'm not blaming anybody yeah I know. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's go. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the app. Hey, 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 guys, let's have the look. Come on, we wasted the best moment when the app initializes. You know, I like it so much. Okay, now we have a. All right, all right. So here's the Bloody app. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Look how beautiful that is.
Bloody. Okay. All right. So <laughs> here we can see all the power stations that I connected to with um, with this phone, right? So let's look uh, for AC three hundred and B three hundred. I actually put my name here so I can find it easily uh, because we have many power stations here. Okay. So number one, I guess the battery life here twenty six percent. Okay. I can see the PV input, grid input, DC output, and AC output right here, okay? All right, I can turn DC on and off from the app. So you can be like on your sofa, on your bed, and you can be able to operate it from the app. You don't have to do it through the screen, unless you want to. DC off and AC off, okay. Settings are here. What do we know about settings? Settings, first of all, we can change the name here. We can uh, check that network settings. Uh, we can also share device right here. We can share device. Okay. Uh, we can also select UPS mode. Working mode select UPS can be a time control UPS, standard UPS, PV priority UPS, and customized UPS. You can do it entirely with your phone. You have to uh, look at the screen again with your phone. I think you will find it more comfortable. Okay, so we can set SOC charting here. Really nice, really nice. Reminds me of some other app where you can choose the range of numbers. Okay, cool. So, okay, click OK here, for example. Um, 28 is too low because right now we're at 26. <laughs> Something just turned off, so I'm gonna go for uh, 10. Okay, so, all right. Next we have uh, auto sleep of the screen. Can be never, five minutes, one minute, or 30 seconds. About a device, we can learn about a device. And my favorite one, and I think the most important one is a firmware upgrade. So we can check if we are up to date. Check for updates. Yes, we are update. But if we had any hardware upgrade, we would be able to do that. Okay. Yes, and we can also unbind the device from the app. This is what we can do through the Blue Addy app. What's more, in Red App, we can see again the power station that we own and use right now. We can create our personal account if we need to, it's not necessary. And we can even reach out to the customer service from the app directly. Bloody app is free for iOS and Android. If you have any power station that has Bluetooth in it, just go on and log Bloody app. You will like it. Okay, guys, so 28 people right now watching us on YouTube. Code does not work for AC300 and B300 combo. Let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check it. I don't know. Uh, we are checking right now for AC300 and uh, B300. There is no code for AC300 and B300. This is why. Yeah. There is no code. The price is already the lowest at $3,199. So it's correct. There is no code. Uh, if you see no code, that means that the price is already the lowest. So let me show you guys how to use the code. Okay, here we are watching us, watching us. Okay, so let's say we want to get PEB70S and PV200. So in this case, we do have the code, this code. Are we saving $140? Okay. Uh, Bloody AC300, we also have the code, but again, we do need at least uh, one battery for it to work. If you already have B300 batteries home, Go ahead and buy it. Uh, yeah, you're right for AC300 and B300, for B300, for AC300, B300, and 3 p 100 batteries. And for this, there is no code because the price is already the lowest. But if you want to get EB70S and B200, click here. But if they have blue LED box, they can redeem it. Yeah, if you have blue LED box, you can actually use them. Mm, then it's cheaper. <laughs> Right, um, okay, hold on a second, we'll give it some time to load. So I want to get EB70S and PV, what did I get, PV200 I guess, 
Um, yeah, anyway, I want to get to 200, a bigger solar panel. So I choose it here. All right. Keep telling me to use it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have like <laughs> discount codes. Don't you buy me to yes. <laughs> More payment options or buy with shop pay does not matter. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're getting EB70S and PV200. Here's the price $1,068. Let's enter discount code. I copied it from the description. And the price for us is $928 from $1,068. Okay? So we, we are saving $140 right now, guys, as we speak. As we speak. Okay, back to the studio. All right. So. You see guys, AC300 and B300 is like a totally different model, right? It's a modular solar generator. So let's, let me tell you guys, what is in the box of AC300? In the box of AC300, you already have a 15 amp AC charging cable, a solar charging cable MC4 to aviation plug, car charging cable, cigarette lighter M to MC4, user manual, QC card, and a four-year warranty card. Blady AC300 is 100% modular, okay? Again, you can connect from one to four batteries. AC300 only works with B300 batteries. So you at least need one B300 battery. You might have already B300 batteries at home from previous models. Maybe you got them as an expansion battery for a 300 Max, maybe as an expansion battery for a 300 p right? So we do give you guys an option to purchase AC300 uh, separately because we're thinking you probably already have B300 batteries home, right? Now, the battery capacity totally depends on how many batteries you actually use. So for one battery, it's 3,072 watt hours, right? Now for four batteries, it's gonna be 12,288 watt hours. So we, even during power outages, you can feel, you can feel safe that you have, because, because you have A300 and B300, and hopefully have four B300s, so you know you can uh, stay powered for days. All right. Now speaking about with the pure sine wave inverter, so you see, guys, the inverter can adjust the charging rate from 1,800 watts to 3,000 watts via wall outlet according to your needs. But the AC input is 1,800 watts by default, which can be boosted up to 3000 watts with a 38 charging cable. It's sold separately on Blue Yeti website. Speaking about the B300 battery, just one more time. It's a heavy battery of 79.6 pounds. The reason why it's heavy is because it has um, a 3072 watt hour battery with 3500 plus life cycles and lithium iron phosphate battery. It does have some outputs like a USB-C port, 100 watts max, USB-A port, 18 watts, and a 12 volt DC, 12 volt amp car outlet. All ports are regulated. Um, to show you guys how big the battery is, right? If you were charging your smartphone from the battery, you would be able to charge it for 208 times. Turning its laptop, your laptop, you would be able to charge it for 50 plus times. Camera of 16 watt hour, 166 plus times, okay? Now speaking about the input of B300 alone, so for AC input maximum is 500 watts, for solar input the max is 200 watts, okay? Yes, for B300 the maximum solar input is 200 watts. The open voltage, open circuit voltage is from 12 to 60 volts. Car input is 12 to 24 volts from cigarette lighter port and AC adapter plus solar input is 700 watts. Okay, now speaking about recharging, 
We talked about charting of B300 alone, but how about charting B300 and A300 together? Just the way you see it right now, it's actually the best way to, to, to chart it. So you chart it together. Um, and the maximum charting speed you, will, you can reach is 5400 watts, guys, 5400 watts. It's really like a blazing input rate. So you plug in the wall outlet and solar panels at the same time, and you can fast recharge AC300 and 2 b 300 at the rate of 5,400 watts. Um, it's important to know that 5,400 watt input rate combines 2,400 watts solar and 3,000 watts AC, which requires at least which requires 2 b 300s um, or the rate would be limited to 3000 watts with only one b 300. Okay, as we mentioned before, uh, A300 supports split phase connection. So you can use one 300 totally fine, but it can also go for two A300s together. What it does, it, it actually doubles up the voltage and the wattage, but you do need a fusion box. Fusion box is included in the in that set. So on that fusion box, you will have outputs that support 240 volts and 6,000 watts. And if you, you know, hook up four batteries to one is 300 and four batteries to the other, you have 12,000 plus, uh, 12,266, I guess, uh, by two. So the capacity, the overall capacity would be 24,567 watt hours. It's like 24.5 kilowatt hours of capacity, right? If you have four uh, B300 uh, batteries for, for each S300. So think about 24, even if I round it up, it's 24.6 kilowatt hours of capacity, right? You will survive and thrive during power out, power outages for now. Okay, again, 24 seven home, UPS home backup. You're probably thinking power outages are not common, but blackouts are common. UPS is your answer. If you have, uh, UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply, okay? So if you have blackouts there, don't worry, you have UPS mode for A300. Okay. So right now, guys, the price for AC300 alone is $1,899. And the Livestream price is $1,699. Discount code is LIFEAC300. For B300, the price is only $1,899. For AC300 and B300, the price is $3,199. And the price for AC300, B300, and 3PV200 solar panels, the price is $4,696. And finally, the price for AC300, B300, and 3PV250 solar panels, you guys remember those big solar panels? The price is $5,746. Okay, so guys, you can right now choose what is it the, the bundle that you are getting today, okay? Do you wanna get A300 and B300, or do you want to get it uh, with solar panels? Depends on you, depends on you guys. If where you, uh, the place where you live is quite sunny, you should take advantage of it, and you should really uh, go solar. If it's not too sunny, right, you can decide for yourself. Right, so it's not for everybody. Uh, but the good thing about our solar panels is that they all support multiple charging methods. Okay, you will definitely find a way to recharge it. We have, we have uh, wall charging, we have solar charging, we have charging from gas, propane, or diesel generators. We have charging from car, car charting, right? Did I say it before? <laughs> yeah. And we even have dual charting, okay? For AC and solar at the same time and dual AC at the same time. So multiple charting methods and even from lead acid batteries. Forgot to mention that one, from lead acid batteries. Yes. Okay, so 
Again, guys, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give it a like. It it means a lot. Yeah, speaking about the app, guys, guys, speaking about the app, as long as the uh, unit has you has uh, Bluetooth, it does support the app. Okay, so if you are if you own any Blatty right now, check if it has Bluetooth. For example, E55, NAB70, or b 70 s does do not have Bluetooth, right? But uh, AC300, Acer Max, EB3, uh, EB3A. Um, AC500, EP500, did I forget something? Probably not, right? They all have Bluetooth, so they have the app. The app control is great for multiple reasons. Well, number one is, of course, because just there are upgrades available in the app. And it's a big, big difference because you want to stay up to date, huh? Right. Okay, guys. Uh, we have f 15 minutes before the end of our last stream. Yeah, frozen. We, we were frozen. We are right now back. Yeah, we are back. Uh, thank you. Can you guys hear us clearly? Let me check it out. Okay. Yes, we are back a lot. All right, cool. Uh, is the sound okay though? Yeah, the sound is the sound is okay too. Okay, nice, cool. All right, guys. All right, cool. So, guys, if you have any questions, ask. You're welcome. You're welcome to ask. You have Blady official here, and if I can respond to your questions, I will also. I will also will. Maybe I won't be able to respond to all questions because some questions I just don't know how to respond to. But again, you you are very welcome to ask questions here. Okay, don't forget to check out our website. And 15 minutes, guys. What that means is that oh, we have one more giveaway. Yes, we do. Oh, we do have one more giveaway. It's right now or? Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. It's right now, the giveaway is now. So what is this giveaway going to be? T-shirt, uh, Yeah, okay, so on YouTube, right? Yeah, white T-shirt and it's actually limited because we are running out of the stock. We yeah. Have the black in the okay, so guys, type T-shirt in the comments. One more giveaway. No, no, it's not K2 Power Bank. No, no, no. Oh, uh, Blood Official says K2, but it's not K2, I guess. It's the T shirt. We, yes, we, it's the t -shirt. Yeah, we already gave K2 away. So, is the T shirt. Please type T shirt in the comments. We already gave K2 away, guys. K2 is a pricey thing. We can't give it away as many times. We can't afford it. So, uh, T shirt, T shirt, T shirt in the comments. Yes, right, Rich. Sudden, I remember you actually. Did you win last time? But the name looks really familiar. Okay, t shirt, t shirt, t shirt. Let's go, let's go, guys. Let's type t shirt in the comments. Here's our t shirt. It's 100% cotton. It says Blatty on the back. Um, just power on, just power on, just power on. Okay, again, very a nice, uh, pleasant to touch, breathable t shirt. Um, you can get one right now if you are active enough and you are. Uh, you're getting chosen by Blatty. Okay, so I hope you guys can you guys can uh, win this giveaway. I really do. So let's go for it. T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt in the comments. T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt in the comments. Let's go. All right. So 32 people right now. And yes, right. As Lena just said, the giveaway is on YouTube. Okay. So guys, if you're on Facebook, jump to YouTube because this giveaway is on YouTube. Okay. So guys from Facebook, please jump onto. YouTube. How many kilowatts in that T-shirt? It depends on you, right? So just power on. <laughs> just power on. Depends on you. How many kilowatts there are? Okay. So, um, but yeah, I th I'm just thinking right now if the T-shirt had wireless charging, how cool that would be. <laughs> okay, T-shirt, 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 guys. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And while we have uh, time right now to just think about what we talked about today, guys. So I call this live stream a your um, camping friend because if you go camping and you don't want to carry around something heavy with you, right? You can get EB70S. Well, already enough for uh, charging your gadgets, uh, smaller devices. If you have a van or a car and you're driving a car, okay, well then you, I think probably when you're camping, you do drive cars, right? So you can just put your A6500 and B300 there, right? So that you can always stay powered even when you're off the grid. All right, so again, guys, as I said before, okay, if you guys didn't get it, I'll give you more time. Guys from Facebook, jump on YouTube for the giveaway right now because this giveaway is only on 
YouTube, all right? T-shirt, 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 all right? Let's go for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we have the winner. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Okay, so the winner is Kimber Jack. Kimber Jack. Okay, Kimber Jack from YouTube. Kimber Jack, congratulations. Okay. Kimber Jack, bloody chose you. So don't forget to send an email to Helena at bluetti.com for the shipment. Please send a screenshot where Blood Official says, Congrats, Kimber Jack. Please kindly keep the screenshot and email me at Helena at bread.com for shipping within 48 hours. Attention overdue time will be regarded as a waiver. Okay. I don't I can't even see 48 this number anymore. <laughs> Anyways, so uh Kimber Jack, congratulations! Here's for Kimber Jack, everybody! Okay, so Kimber Jack again said Helena at bloody.com. Your Home address, okay. Helena is not coming to your home. It's just that we need to know the address to ship it to you, okay? Says the t-shirt, phone number, full name, so we can ship it to you. All right, guys. Eight minutes left before the end of our live stream. And I kindly remind you <laughs> that the codes are still valid, so you can go and use them right now. By the way, guys, also to anticipate your questions, the links you guys can see in the comments, those are short links. Okay? Those are not affiliate links or nothing like that. Those are just short links. We don't want to put like a long link there. We put a short link there. Okay, it's still bloody official, okay? Um, yeah. Basically, no questions about that. Now, again, guys, if you're watching us not from the United States, uh, remember that you can purchase in your country as well. All you want to do is just go to the website and check the offers for your country, right? Or simply go bloodypower.ca for Canada, bloodypower.eu for European Union, etc. Okay, the same logic. So what else should I say, guys? Our next live stream is going to be actually this Sunday, okay? So uh, we will have a different collection. Uh, I hope something will interest you. Um, so it's going to be this Sunday, December 11th, um, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, right now we are at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We hope you guys can show up on that live stream too, check out the offers for you guys, and also, uh, you know, meet new people. We have many people who know a lot about power stations. And we only have like this two hour window where we can chat and exchange opinions. This is why we created this group on Facebook, right? Um, where we have this community where you can ask any questions about power stations, solar panels, you know, modular solar generators, and you will get answers from our community or from me or from other bloody officials <laughs> or just for people who are interested so check us out on instagram uh is bloody official on facebook is bloody global okay and you can also um join our like what is the group called bloody mm, club or something right so you can also join like a smaller group of ours where we mostly ask and answer questions now you can also check us out on uh, TikTok, right? We have one million followers on TikTok, so you can check us out there if you're on TikTok sometime. All right. Uh, our website, what do we have on our website? Right now we have this thing called Bloody Bucks, right? So for each, it is still the case for, for each American dollar spent, we have three Bloody Bucks, right? Helena, is it, this promotion is still on? For each American dollar spent, we have three. Yeah, guys, for each US dollar spent on the website, you guys will have three blue eddy bucks okay and what you can do with this with these bucks is you can exchange them for gift cards okay uh, you can do them for gift cards and basically it, it, you can redeem up to one hundred dollars off like it depends on how many uh how many bloody bucks you have but what i saw in helena's case she only has 1200 bucks and she couldn't log like 
quite big discount. It's like up to fifty dollars, I guess. So uh, no, because you unlock twenty, uh, fifty. That's why I cannot. Seventy then one hundred. I I was the one thousand. I'm just saying that two hundred was uh, okay. I'm done. <laughs> I would say that 200, 200 bucks is not a lot because, like, if you purchase, right, for example, a one thousand uh, something, maybe our EB seventy S and three hundred, you will have already like three thousand bucks, right? So it's like twice more than what you have. So you will have more and more options, more and more discounts. <laughs> okay, so. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe, please. We want to hit 15,000, okay? I checked other companies' followers. We are actually leading right now. We actually have quite many followers um, and subscribers on YouTube. So su subscribe to us on Facebook and on YouTube. And we are also on Twitter. You're welcome to. Yeah, I'm checking Twitter a lot. Um, so you can. Um, Reddit. Uh, oh, okay. We're on Reddit. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, Basically, you can find us on all the platforms. Yeah, a part of you know, like only on big platforms, official platforms. I used my Reddit bucks to buy an RV cable from a Start Max. Mark, congratulations on that, Mark. I, I also saw a screenshot of someone in our bloody group on Facebook that like, you know, something like a $1,000 purchase was like ridiculous cheap for, for that person because yeah. uh, of bloody box. He, how many does he have? I don't know. I don't remember, but yeah, but apparently. Yeah, I used like with two 20,000 bloody box, you can basically get the EV3 for around $19, right? 19? Yeah, because the EV3 wow. is like 219 Dollars, right, on the yeah, an RV cable. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so if they purchase like for AC 300, B 300 today, they can get like around 9,000 for any box. Yeah. Almost 10,000. Then you can get $100. Exactly. Ex yeah, exactly, guys. Remember to redeem those uh, bloody box. And remember to use discount codes when, you, when we are live, okay? Uh, because they are only valid we make them this way on the little during the live stream okay right one more time guys C congratulations to all the guys who have purchased today because you guys had a lot of money all right and this is uh, this is my first round of congratulations i have the hierarchy here my second round of congratulations goes to our winners of giveaways guys i mean who doesn't like giveaways we all do and my third conversation round goes to um, just people who joined and had fun. And, you know, guys, it was a pleasure to be here with you guys for this two hours. And I'll see you next time, December 11th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you guys will join us this Sunday. Uh, and I'll see you next time. 